Welcome to Whitney's channel. Hi guys, hi, my name is Whitney Wiley and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do a review on the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. Um, here it is right here. So this has been out for a little while, but I wanted to try something that would be great for the summer. I know that spring and summer is approaching and I wanted to find a tinted moisturizer type of situation that would work for me. But at the same time, I wanted to make sure that it was something that um, was gonna give me coverage. So I thought that this would be the perfect one to try. So I heard good reviews about it, so I wanted to check it out. And um, I wanted to show you guys how it applied and what this color actually looks like on my skin tone. So let's see how it works. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading videos every week, so if you subscribe down below, hit the bell button, then you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. Okay, so when I was interested in getting this, I actually searched online to see if I could find um, what color would look good with my skin tone. Um, I didn't purchase this in store, which is always scary for me when I go through foundation choices um, because you know you wanna make sure that it matches your skin tone. So anyway, I ended up choosing a medium dark three and the color is Martinique, I believe. I ended up picking this up at Sephora, so, um, or getting it at Sephora.com, so let's try it out. Um, this is also supposed to have medium coverage. It says that it has 30 um, SPF in it, and actually, let me tell you, I looked it up so I could get a few more deets. Um, it's for normal to combination slash oily skin, which I have drier skin, but in the summer, I feel like I definitely have oily areas. So um, I think this will work for me. Medium coverage, like I said, and um, it's buildable with a soft matte finish. So not completely matte, but it's gonna give you a more matte feel than a more dewy finish. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so it comes in a little squeezy tube like this. There you go. So before I put this on, I'm gonna prime my face because I would prime my face um, before I wore this out to the beach anywhere um, in the summer, spring, whatever, I'm gonna prime. Oh, and FYI, my favorite um, tinted, moisturizer, tinted moisturizer right now is the Urban Decay Naked Skin one, one and done. So I picked this up last year and I love this one so much. Um, it goes on with a really matte finish, um, but it's not drying and it has SPF 20. So I'm gonna kind of compare it to this one and see how it goes. Um, I'm hoping that this is another one that I could add to the collection because this one's is almost gone. I've used quite a bit of them, so. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see how that works. Um, first, I'm going to prime my skin. I'm gonna use the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone. Um, <laughs> this is gonna help smooth out my skin. So I'm just gonna apply this with my fingers. <laughs> okay, and then because I have larger pores in my nose area, they kind of spread out to my cheeks a little bit, but mainly to my nose. I'm going to put the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. So this is what I've been using to fill in my pores. Okay, let me bring you guys in a little tighter. Let's see, so you can see. All right, so we're going to go in with the skin tint. Um, I'm gonna apply it half my face so you can kind of see what it looks like with and without. Um, I think I'm gonna use a brush. This should give me like a little more coverage, but this is the BH Cosmetics 123 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. I'm gonna do this instead of a beauty blender. It smells a little sunscreeny. I can smell sunscreen in it. That's okay because that's what you want. All right, okay. Woo. So 
So this looks pretty good. The coverage is definitely medium to full and it blended out fairly well. Yeah, you can kind of see I have like a little sunspots or freckling in here and you don't see that on this side. Let's see about the other side. And it's definitely a soft matte finish. It's not completely matte. There's like still a little bit of dewiness. So let's go in with the other side. All right, I think that it's given me a pretty flawless canvas. Um, flawless with the makeup. <laughs> um, I don't really see anything poking through, so it's nice medium to full coverage. It's really rare that you find a tinted moisturizer that has that much coverage. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I think this can be something that you can wear when you're just doing an outing, like a picnic or a barbecue or a beach day if you wanna wear makeup to the beach or um, you could probably still rock this throughout the night. I'm gonna actually apply some concealer too and then set this with powder so you can just kind of see what it looks like with um, concealed under eyes and a little bit of highlighting. So let me do that. Okay, so this is my face fully set. Um, I set my full face with translucent powder and then I also went in with a NARS concealer. So I'll list all the products I use down below and the colors, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Which I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty smooth, pretty buttery. I'm not hating it. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like with everything set and then you can imagine if my brows and everything else were done what it would look like. I think this is gonna be a favorite for the spring and summer so I'm excited to wear it and see how it goes. Um, I'm also going to finish off my makeup and then I'll show you the finished look just to see what the foundation or the uh, tinted moisturizer, moisturizer looks with a full face of makeup. And yeah, I will show you that in just a second. One moment. All right guys, so here is the final look. I went a little crazy with my makeup. Um, got this like salmon thing going on. I don't know, I just started like playing and having fun. But you can see that I have the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint on. Um, it looks pretty good, I think. So, so crazy that it is a tinted moisturizer because it's working like a foundation. Yeah, I really like the way this looks. I love the finish and I love how my skin looks natural and um, natural as natural as you can be with foundation on but natural and um, it still gives me some coverage so yeah I really like this product I think it's pretty awesome if you've tried the NARS skin tent before definitely comment below let me know let me know what you think of it um, I hope this video helped for those of you who are around my shade and was trying to look at the shade Martinique and see if it worked for you I hope this kind of uh, gave you a little bit of insight. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you can catch even more videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Oh, also let me know if you use any other tinted moisturizers and if so, which ones do you like? Because I might pick up one more since this one's almost done. You know, what's the harm in having another one, right? You can never have too much. Um, so yeah, thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next one. All right, talk to you later. Bye.